Here we have the new 2024 Chevrolet 2500 HD. This one comes in the custom trim level with four wheel drive. This color is going to be sterling gray metallic. And then we have jet black cloth interior. The powertrain consists of a 6.6 .6 liter turbocharged diesel V8 engine. And that's made it to the 10 speed automatic Allison transmission. And as we come around to the front end here, just a slight refresh. Now you can get the more upgraded headlamps and all that. And it makes it look a bit more polished, but still pretty good look for the, the HD in my opinion. Love the gloss black bumper. But as we come around to the wheels here, these are gonna be 20 inch aluminum. It's one of my favorite things about the truck is the design of these wheels. But to the door panel here, we have our power door locks here, unlock, lock. And then we have one touch automatic up and down for the driver's side and then express down for the other three windows. We do have power folding mirrors, which is a big plus for me. Blind spot monitors are in those. And then a rear window lock here. Power mirror controls, we can turn those on and off and adjust using this dial. And then two bottle holders, map pocket. We can go through our tow haul mode here. So we can toggle that there. And then four wheel drive controls brightness for the gauge cluster, bed lamps, etc., and then headlamp controls there. And we can turn the auto mode off and on by doing that. Electronic parking brake, press to engage, hit the brake, press it again to disengage. Hood release, tilt steering wheel. And then here's our power driver seat with two-way lumbar. But I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. But before we check out the rear leg room, huge shout out to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for letting me review this truck today. I'll leave a link below in the description. And you all can pause anywhere you need to, taking a look at this window sticker. Hope you can see it, even with this glare. I've been trying to hide from the leaf blowers, it's been following me around, I've been trying to review these trucks. But this one stickers right at 65,845, which is not a bad price in my opinion to get the diesel. And then I think that custom value package actually has a lot of value in it. But from the back seat here, great leg room. Of course, it's the full size 2,500 pickup. So I would expect to have tons of room for the entire crew. Seat back pockets on both sides there, rear AC vents. And no fold down tray for the bottle holders, but we do still get one in each door panel there and then before i forget that's a big plus having that clothes hanger there you can put a bunch of plastic or metal hangers on that stronger hook deaf and diesel go right here and then as we come around to the back end here there's a look at all of that there, but let's go ahead and lower the tailgate now. And I love that we get the three prong 120 volt in the back. And the spray on bed liner is a nice touch as well. But coming to the front passenger seat, this is gonna be manual, but seat back can be adjusted here. Seat bottom can be adjusted there. Lockable glove compartment here, good size. And then we have that second one up top as well. But now we're just gonna take a quick look in the engine bay. There's that there. And next we're gonna go ahead and make our way to the driver's seat. So hopping up here, we do get the nice, I shouldn't say nice, but you know, it's a custom. Still feels pretty, pretty good for a vinyl wrap steering wheel. There's that there, I like the design. 
Now over here to the radio, we do get AM, FM, XM along with Bluetooth audio, and then we have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. All of our settings are here, vehicle settings, apps, and then all of our system settings, we can change language there. Connect your phone, just add it, walks you right through it, just find it on your Bluetooth connections. So everything there, not too much going on, but that's how I like it. Pretty easy to use. Backup cameras there with guidelines that follow you as you turn the steering wheel. We can turn those off if we want to as well by hitting that. And then volume controls here, click there to mute and then hold it to power the system down. And then we can use this as a tune knob, home button, Bluetooth button. And then we have our single zone manual controls here for the climate and adjust fan speed. And then just click that, turn it on and off. Which I like how they did that. And then temperature can be adjusted here, AC toggle, fan direction, and then defrosters there. And then we have our exhaust brake, lane keep assist with lane departure, parking sensors. We can lower that tailgate, hazards, traction control, and then a trailer brake controller, USB-C, USB-A port, 12 volts. And then we get another 120 volt three prong. Cup holders here, little storage pockets throughout. And then a bigger center console cubby space there. And then we can just pull this up, make it a six seat, and then to get it back down, just pull this strap here. And there you go. But there's a view of the back seat from up here. One thing I love about this truck is it does a lot, but it's so simple in terms of just a walkthrough. It doesn't have a bunch of extra stuff, but it has everything you need. And then over here, cruise controls, we can set that and then adjust the forward collision alert gap there. And then windshield wiper controls, and turn this fan speed down. It's all right here. So one time there and then intermittent, low, high. And then we can just push this here for the front wiper fluid and then pull that when the headlamps are on for the high beams and then toggle that there. And then in auto mode, we actually do get IntelliBeam, which is awesome to me, having it on this heavy duty truck. And then to the gauge cluster, bear with me here a moment. We can go through all of those functions there. So tons and tons of stuff that you can look at if you so choose to. And then you can change your units from US to metric right there. And then for the shifter, just pull this down, reverse neutral drive, then your low gears at the bottom, and you can manually shift there and it'll show you what gear you're in at that bottom right corner. And then there's our push button start. And finally, here's the key fob with remote start. But next, let's go ahead and take this 2500 HD out of the row for a test drive. 